got on YouTube Curtis here and it is finally January 1st 2015 the transfer window is open we can finally acquire players and sell some players so it's time to see the results in the voting and as you can see there guys Ashley Young and Anderson are the two players you want me to sell as well as Johnny Evans so as we can see there guys Anderson Ashley Young and Johnny Evans are all transferred listed hopefully we can sell all three of them in this window now we also did a vote lads on which player you want me to sign I wanted to sign one player in this window and you guys have voted as we check the results there Mats Hummels smashed everybody else so let's go and check out Mats Hummels so here he is lads 26 years of age he just turned 26 center half we all know he is quality 86 overall but he's worth a whopping 31 and a half million now the first cheeky bid i'm going to give to dortmund for matt tummels lads i'm going to put johnny evans up for sale just for a swap in the deal plus 20 million pounds i don't think they'll want johnny evans but you just gotta try a luck and i think 20 millions plus Johnny Evans is a good decent bid just to get the bidding started so uh, let's go and submit that offer to Dortmund anyways lads back onto the games we've got a game against Stoke away a very difficult fixture so here we are at the Britannia Stadium the home of Stoke City when they first got promoted in the Premier League they were a very very dominant force at the Britannia it's died off a little bit, but don't get me wrong, still a difficult place to go and get three points, but we need to do that. So here we go, come on United, we need to get back in the top four. Well done, Rojo. Oh, that was a good tackle. Oh, Rojo's getting forward. One matter, Rojo, can you pick out Robin Van Persie? Come on, Rojo. Rojo, oh, what do you expect on the centre half? But he did well to get forward. Good ball. Antonio Valencia, run. Look at all that space you got, Antonio. Give it to Robin there, Percy. Robin! Not even looking at the ball. That's half the battle, son. If you're not looking at it, you, how you know where it is? Come on, Robin. Jules got the ball in a dangerous spot. Steven Island! He loves scoring against me, Steven Island, doesn't he? Oh, God, I see it. He's in. I see it. I see it. Oh, what well under here. Good save. Good save. Solid work at the back. Come on, lads, get it out. There we go. One matter. Rooney's onside. He's got to be. Rooney. Just hit it. We've got nothing else on. Rooney! Oh, my word! Wayne Rooney! <laughs> what a goal! I hit it because I had nothing else on. Wayne Rooney, you superstar. I literally had nothing else on. So I went for the step over. Then, boom! Oh my god, Jack Butlin, you had no hope, son. No hope whatsoever. There we go, lads. Goal of the season contender right there. Wayne Rooney, what a strike. Look at it. It's curling away. It's, oh, mate, that... Mate, I, I just got no words to describe it. Wayne Rooney, you superstar, lad. Talk about a captain leading by example. Yes, record that shit, Xbox. Woo! Half time. Got the ball. Carrick, bit of room. Step over. Carrick doing step overs. That's so not going to happen in real life, is it? But it's come down to Carrick again. Hits it on the volley. Oh, Wilson with the block. Who's out wide? Valencia. Can you pick Rooney out again? Oh, give it off to Rooney. Back heel. Oh, referee. That could have been a penalty there. Carrick, good ball. Raphael bombing on. All right, get in the middle, lads. Get in the middle. Van Percy comes out to one matter. One matter. Oh, look at this. Rooney couldn't miss from there. It's a double from Wayne Rooney. Gets in. 2 0. Game set match, pretty much. Look at this. Can we hit him on the counter attack? Look at this. Jesse Lingard fresh off the bench. Come on, lad. Can you make it 3 0? Oh, what a save from Butland. My word. There we go, lads. The ref blows the whistle for full time. Could have been 3 0 right there, but it wasn't meant to be. 2 0. 
a stunner from Wayne Rooney, goal of the season contender. And yet again, lads, we win away from home. So a great season it's been so far. Hopefully we've made our way back into the top four. But anyways, anyways, lads, let's check out, see what's happening on the transfer front. Now, remember that email we got at the start of the season from Raphael? Well, he's just sent us another one saying, I'm happy to say, boss, I want to apologize for the press speculation and to say that I am prepared to stay with the club now. It hasn't been easy uh, to settle at the club, but I want to give it a go. So there we go, guys. He wasn't settled at the start. We're playing him regularly pretty much nearly every single game, Raphael. He's been fantastic for us. Now he wants to stay at the club. I'm so happy about that. All right, lads, now onto the goalkeeping situation. We did some votes before. We need to get rid of two goalkeepers, lads. Um, the two that you voted was uh, Andreas Lindegaard and Ben Amos. They're the two that are not going to be playing anytime soon. They're not going to really put any pressure on De Gea for that number one spot. So I think it's best that we do sell them. I agree with you guys on this one. And I agree. So I'm going to both um, transfer listed him right there but I'm also gonna buy another goalkeeper just a young up-and-coming keeper uh, just to put a little bit of pressure on De Gea and that will be great backup for us at United so the goalkeeper you guys voted for to bring into at United is Simeon Scuffett now he's 18 years of age and he looks like a decent player to bring in at United now his value is 850,000 uh, pounds Udinese want pretty much 4 million to 6 million so we're going to put it in a cheeky offer for 2 million and uh, let's see how that settles with them. We're going to transfer offer from Tottenham for Raphael. I'm going to reject all offers and disallow future offers. He's going to be our number one main man, lads. Don't want to sell Raphael. All right, got a loan offer here from Chesterfield for Andreas Pereira. Definitely going to put him out on loan to the rest of the season. Go get some experience, lad. So finally, we get an email here from Dortmund. They say they can't go ahead with a deal because they're not interested in Johnny Evans. So we're going to have to fix that up. All right, lads. So I've taken Johnny Evans out. And now I'm about to offer exactly what his value is worth at 31.5 million pounds. Hopefully, that could be enough to get the deal done. All right, we've got an offer from Bayern Leverkusen. They want De Gea. No chance we are selling David at any price. So we've got an email from Udinese from Simeone Scuffett. They say they do not believe he's worth that low. The sum's too low, so they want more money. So uh, let's go and give him more cash. So we've just got an email back from Dortmund. They want 50 million. 50 million. 50 million for Matt Hummels. So clearly, lads, I do not have the money for that whatsoever. So all I can do is offer him the most I've got, which is 32 million, an extra half a million. That's all I can do. That's a pain in the f***ing ass, isn't it? So we've got an offer here for Lindegaard from Swansea. They want 3.7. His value is 4.3. But I reckon, lads, if we can meet him halfway and make it 4 million, we might have ourselves a deal. All right, lads, we're back in the FA Cup. It's only the third round. We're against Burnley, so I reckon in the middle of January, I'm keen to get these uh, transfers done, so I'm just going to go sim this game. Hopefully, I know it's away, but we do have a decent squad. Like, we've got Rooney, Van Persie, Mata, Di Maria. Come on, lads. We can't be losing to Burnley away in the FA Cup. All right, so let's sim this game, see what happens. All right, the game starts nil all. Nothing happening whatsoever. Come on, lads, just get the goal, get the deal done. All right, Daily Blind with a yellow card, and uh, there we go. Oh, 1 1, Boyd scores and Mata scores. All right, we're in extra uh, in the second half. All right, Rooney scores 2 1. We go ahead. All right, lads, keep the lead now. Don't do anything stupid. No injuries. Come on, lads, get the win. We're going through to the next round. Get in, lads. We won 2 1. Just what I expected, to be quite honest. All right, that's got an offer here for Ben Amos for exactly what his value is worth. Like, he's already 24 years of age and he's only 6 to 5. He's not going to be in our plans anytime soon. So we're going to go and accept this offer. And it helps with the wages too. So uh, good luck, Ben Amos. There we go, guys. We get the final email from Dortmund saying they've reviewed the offer and they cannot accept the offer because the sum is too valuable for them. Or he's too valuable for them and the sum's too low. So uh, it looks like, lads, we're not getting Matt's Hummels now. 
There we go, lads. Swansea City have accepted deal for Andres Lindegaard. We've sold him for four million, and the board has allocated us three point four million. So thank you, Andreas, for your services. But it's good to have that coin as well. All right, lads. Got a transfer offer here from West Brom for Johnny Evans. They're going to give us exactly his value. Um, 9 million, ah, uh, geez, you know, will I be pushing my luck if I try to go for a bit more? You know what, I'm not, I'm just going to accept the deal, lads. Johnny Evans has been a great servant for us. Um, you know, he's very unhappy, look at that, you know, and his form's okay, he's not playing, we're just going to not push our luck. Accept the deal, thank you, Johnny Evans, for everything you've done for the football club, mate, really appreciate it. So there we go, lads, it's official, Johnny Evans has sold... To West Brom for nine million, we're gonna get seven and a half in return. So it's not all doom and gloom. All right, lads. In the last game for this episode, we're away to QPR. So here we go, lads. We're at Loftus Road. I don't mind this small little stadium from QPR. It's a great little atmosphere place. But uh, QPR, the 19th on the table. We should be coming away with the three points, lads. We need to cement our spot in the top four. So let's do this. Come on, United. Let's go. Oh, Phil Jones. Look at that. Well done, Jones. Look at Herrera. Step over. Herrera. 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 Oh, what a save from McCarthy. Tell you what, Leroy Fur. Sandro. Oh, what a strike. Is it the crossbar? My word, that was close. Oh, let's get it out. Get it out. Oh, no. Rojo stepped over the ball. Vargas, oh what a save De Gea, mate this guy has been outstanding for us, no Rojo you've lost the ball again, get it out, get it out, oh my gosh I am one lucky man right there, lucky, Rooney with a little bit of space, come on Wazza, fake shot, get in behind, Rooney, oh that's surely a free kick referee, come on that was naughty, have a none of that. Thank you. We all know about Joey Barton, the naughty boy. All right, Rooney's won the free kick. He's going to take the free kick as well. So I'm um, going to try something different here. Come on, Rooney. Oh, what a save, McCarthy. On target. So, so close. Oh, what a ball. Vargas is in. Concha. Concha is hit the side. Netting. QPR, mate. They're all over us. Well done. Di Maria gets in behind. Angel Di Maria with a bit of space. He, oh my god, was that Rooney getting in the way? It was too. It's a goal kick. Come on, Wazza. Oh my gosh, Leroy Fair, what a ball. What a save to Haya. My word, got down low there. Have a look at that for a save. Come on, lads, let's clear this. Let's get it out. Oh my gosh. De Gea again. Joey Barton puts it in. Oh my god, they've hit the crossbar again. Get it out, lads. What's happening here? Please don't say a penalty. Ah, oh, it's a free kick for us. Oh my gosh. They must have hit the crossbar about five times there. But I felt like it anyways. Oh, look at that. What link up play. Adnan Yenizé using his pace. Can he do the Berber spin? He can. Put in Rooney. Come on, Rooney. Step over. Oh, Rooney. Oh, what a save, McCartney. Oh, my word. Tell you what, can we sneak a winner here, lads? And they're almost the 90th minute here. Come on, Daily Blind. Come out to Van Percy. Oh, what happened there? There we go, lads. Nil, nil at Loftus Road. That is disappointing. Like, you couldn't believe to be fair, I should have lost that game. QPR had so many chances, but what do you do? Let's go check out the league table. So as we check out the league table there, guys, not much has changed. We're still fifth, and look how close it is between the top five. And City are still in sixth position, lads. So, uh, mate, it's definitely, definitely squeaky bum time here. But uh, like always, lads, that's going to come to the end of this episode. Please drop a like, follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and make sure you stay tuned. For the next episode, lads, we're still in a January transfer window. We're still looking to sign someone. So uh, until next episode, lads, I'm your boy, Curtis7. Take care and peace.